Hello and welcome to Video DNA, where the English is bad and the tutorials are good. I'm Nirav Dabib and today I'm gonna show you a script that will change your life forever. Well, not your entire life, but a pretty good parts of it. Because this script is gonna save you a hell out of time. And it's 100% free. And it does a really simple thing. And let me show you what's the problem that it resolves. If I'm sitting on a kit or a template and I need to reuse some of the elements, let's say this comp player, I can duplicate it and then I'm gonna take it right over here and then I'm gonna change it. And after I change its content, I'm gonna see that it changes both the comps. That's because when you duplicate something from the timeline, it doesn't really change the origin or the source. So you need to go to the source and locate it and duplicate it and duplicate all the hierarchy inside it. That's pretty much a punishment. But this script does it for you from the timeline. And it looks like this. That's it. Now you can go and change the content, any content. Let's go over here and change it to next. And that's it. You have two separate comps in the timeline. There is another script that does that, which is called True Comp Duplicator, which is amazing by itself. This approach, I believe, is a bit user friendly. And let's say you want to do it in two layers so you can select them, select them both and then activate the script again. And in the end, you can see that it shows you the layers it duplicated and that's it. You can use them again and again and again, which is pretty cool. Let's say one dream came true. The other, well, now I have these two layers, new layers, I can do whatever I want with them which is pretty cool. But let's say I want to do the same for the comps right over here. So I can actually do it for the comps too. That's it. That's all you need to do. And now you have two separate comps and everything inside it changed. All the hierarchy just got duplicated. So which means if I'm going to change something over here, it will not affect nothing on the other comp, which is pretty awesome pretty amazing. In the links below you can find the link to download the script and also how to install it and how to create the keyboard shortcut which is pretty easy. After I install it I'm just searching for duplicate and then I'm gonna press this. It's supposed to be empty. So I'm gonna press this and then on a PC control alt D and on a Mac alt D which I prefer but there is a big difference between Mac and PC so I'm not gonna fight it. And one more thing. After you finish duplicating with our script, you can visit our site just by pressing this button and we're gonna take you straight to our site. So now you can enjoy watching new tutorials, amazing product that will help you on your projects and many more things. Well, I hope you enjoy this tutorial and you're gonna find this script and many more things useful. And I'm gonna see you next time.